This iconic golden harp with silver strings on a blue shield has been referenced as the coat of arms of Ireland as far back as the 13th century. And when Henry VIII of England was not busy divorcing or beheading his wives, he ended the period of lordship of Ireland and declared Ireland to be a kingdom again in 1541, which made the golden harp officially the coat of arms of Ireland. In this video, I'll quickly cover the evolution, history, and meaning of the coat of arms of the Republic of Ireland, and I'll also briefly go over the arms of Ireland's four provinces. Welcome to Council of Knowledge. Heraldry as an art found its place in Ireland as early as the Norman Conquest, since it's essentially a feudal form of art. The depiction of the harp has changed over time, but the first time they appeared was in this French roll of arms dating back to 1280. The harp itself is traditionally associated with the biblical King David, but specifically the idea of a harp being the arms of Ireland may have originated as a reference to a fictional character in the courtly legend called Cycle of Tristan. Another theory states that it may have been derived from a celebrated 13th century bardic poem to a Gaelic king named Thomond. The modern design is clearly different from earlier depictions. During the 17th century, it became common to depict the harp with a woman's head and breasts, like a ship's figurehead as the pillar. And when the coat of arms were restored as the arms of the independent Irish state in 1922, a late medieval Gaelic harp named Trinity College Harp was used as a model. The Lordship of Ireland was established initially in 1177 and was granted this coat of arms with three golden crowns ordered vertically, on a blue background and a white border. These were the arms of Edmund the Martyr. The Irish lords adopted this as their banner in the same way that the English lord identified with the banner of St. George. However, these arms were also known in other medieval contexts as being attributed to King Arthur. It is believed that the three crowns were abandoned as the arms of Ireland when Henry VIII split with the papacy since Ireland was a feudal possession of the Pope under the overlordship of the English monarch. The decision to change the three crowns may have been sprung from an idea that they might denote the feudal sovereignty of the Pope. A variant coat of arms of Meath was also briefly used as the arms of Ireland. Although Meath is now part of the province of Leinster, the variant used briefly for Ireland were of a king on a black background instead of a blue one that Meath used. The four provinces of Ireland have four unique arms as well. The first one is that of Leinster, which is basically the same one as the Irish coat of arms with the green shield instead of a blue one. Connacht's arms are divided into two with a black eagle on a white background on one side and an arm holding a sword on a blue background on the other. Munster's arms consist of three golden crowns on a blue field similar to those of the Lordship of Ireland before being changed to the Kingdom of Ireland and the harp that we know today. Ulster uses a red cross on a yellow background which was taken from the de Burgh dynasty. In the middle we see a red hand as a symbol to the Gaelic over kingdom of Ulaid. Thank you so much for watching, please let me know in the comments if I made any mistakes or if I forgot something. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, please like the video and consider subscribing and hitting the bell button. It helps me stay motivated to make more of these videos and pushes the videos through the YouTube algorithm.